and now what we have to do is make our little menu. So in the template, we're going to have a div class equals slider menu. And we'll do an each. You can read about this on this. I just learned this stuff yesterday. It's very simple. I couldn't get the if stuff to work very well, but the each um, works great. I was probably doing something wrong with the if, but either way, I'm not going to use it. So the way you do it is you go index value, and if you don't do that, that's fine. It gives you an index automatically, but not value. Or it, it gives you both, but I like doing it this way. And then in here you do close each. So now jQuery will do all of this for you. So the row, I'm going to, these are the menu items, so I don't have a picture of it, but in the mockup there's these little squares that are buttons, and their rel is going to point to their index, and same in here, the actual text to display is going to be indexed, but I want it to add one for a human readable, because we don't want the first one to be zero, but the rel will be zero, and then the class in my CSS, I call it a slider slide button because it's to change slides and the way I'm going to do this the only way I could figure out is to put value here where item dot slides is what I'm going to pass in and it's going to be an array of nothing if there's no class and then the word current if it's the current one so um, this value is going to say current if it's the menu item that the slideshow is currently on because it's re-rendering the whole thing each time that's the beauty of how this stuff works so slides so it'll be like this And of course, we'll make a function to generate this for us. So the slide, the current slide is index, and the rest of them are these. It's kind of bizarre, but it'll work. And what I'll do is here we'll call determine current index count where count and this is an easy way to do it but because it's a JSON object and we need the length of it but this does not work in Internet Explorer version 8 but you can easily find a different way to do it and I'm still going to, just not in this example. So, and then this function can sit out here. We don't need it to be redeclared each time. So I know we're going to return some array. We'll call it res for result. And I'll start it out. And then I'll do for I less than count. You know, we'll just call this total so it makes more sense. I plus plus. And we're just going to add it to the array but we're either going to add empty string or current so what we'll do is we'll just say does i equal index 
If so, then current. Otherwise, nothing. And we'll console.log result, result to see. And of course, we have errors. Object.key is not a function. Object.keys is, though. Object.keys is not. Ah, yes. This needs to be in there. That's why. Okay, here they are. And the first one has a class of current. See? That's. That's great. And here is the array that we made. Current, nothing, nothing. Somebody stop me. <laughs> okay, so um, determine current, put that array in, and then we'll take another look at what happens. Um, we go index, so it'll say zero, and then this will be either the string current or the string, an empty string. And this is what we're traversing over, which came from slides. Slides, item.slides, that's how you do it. Item is a global thing that jQuery gives you. And then value. So value will either be the empty string or current. And for the current one, it'll do that. And so let's see what happens when we click on one of these. Nothing because we don't have click events on those. That's the last thing we need. So here we'll do HTML dot find slider slide button, that's what we call them, dot click And yes, it's going to add new click events every time, but jQuery is very good about deleting the old ones. So we'll go ahead and prevent the default. So let's see, you know what, we'll add a log in here. Here. Um, so we'll find the rel because that's the whole reason that we need this. Actually, we can call it index to make more sense. That's how you find the rel, and then we'll just call init slide. Oh yeah, and duh, the reason I'm not going to var index, I'm just going to call it index, is to overwrite this index. So now it will just init the next slide. And of course it didn't work. <laughs> of course. So we're ca we're calling the function. And of course you guys most likely know why it's not working, but I don't yet. Oh, that's because I put zero here, but I have to press index. And now the only problem is that the image isn't fading in, so it's still set to zero, it's not animating correctly. You know what, we'll do this. If not set up, uh, here's the problem. I put opacity, but it's opac opacity. There we go. It's beautiful. So that's how you do a simple jQuery templating image slider. Even though there's no sliding, it should definitely be called fader. And I should definitely rename it fader. Image 
thingy. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.